Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe again with a video on setting gamepad controls within Armory Crate. This video will guide you on where to set the controls that you want for your games or globally across all the games that you play. So to start us out, I'm going to go into Armory Crate. And here under Control Mode, I'm going to go to Configure. And here you have two options, Gamepad Mode and Desktop Mode. I'm going to be focusing on Gamepad Mode for this video. Desktop Mode is very similar. However, do make sure that depending on which mode you want to use, that you have it set in Armory Crate for that mode to be used. If you access the overlay, here you have the gamepad mode that is selected. And right now this is in control mode. However, I can select the desktop mode, for example, auto, which means that the software will detect which one is the selected one for the game or the activity that you're doing. And then I can go back to gamepad. So I keep mine in gamepad when I am playing games. So do make sure you have that set accordingly. Let's go to configure within gamepad mode. You are going to access first key mapping. And what you can do to start out with key mapping is you can set which controls you want. These right now are set for default. We'll, we will take this one here, which is for menu, and that is primary. And I actually have a secondary function, which you can choose if you would like to do that. To access the secondary option, you will need to make sure that the M1 and M2, which are on the back of the unit here, as you can see, are set for the secondary function. As if you do not have these set as secondary function, which gives you the opportunity to actually customize them if you would like to do that. However, <clears throat> if you do not have them set as secondary function here, then what you set as se secondary function within key mapping is not going to work. So to access the Xbox button, I will need to either hold down M1 or M2. I don't need to hold down both of them, just one or the other, depending on how it's set, because you can actually choose whether each one is going to set as a secondary function. So the one that I have that is set for secondary function, I hold that down, and then the Xbox button in this case is what is going to be set. And you can restore this to default at any point if you would like so that you are back to where you started. Let's transition to left stick and right stick settings. First, let's define what dead zone and outer threshold are. Let's start with controller dead zone. That is the amount your control stick can move before it is recognized in-game. Regarding the outer threshold, the outer threshold changes how far you have to move the stick to be considered at maximum input. So we can set these where the dead zone right now of the stick is at 0%. However, we can increase this to where it is going to take more movement before it is recognized within the game. And I have this set at zero because I want to be able to move it and have the motion detected immediately. For our outer threshold, I have it set at 100%. So that means that if I want to go to the maximum of up, down, left, or right, whichever is responsible for what that controls, I'm going to have to press the stick all the way up or all the way down the left or to the right. So, so if I want to, for example, go up at a maximum amount, then I have to push this all the way up to be able to do that. But with this setting, we can actually increase or decrease this 
so that depending on where we have it, we can move it, say, halfway, and that would be the maximum compared to all the way holding it down. Or if we just want the stick to move a little bit to reach that maximum for the action rendered, then we can de decrease the amount here. And that can be done for the right stick as well. Let's transition to the trigger settings. This is going to control the amount of dead zone that you have. And that is going to be how much you have to press it down for an action to be rendered by the trigger. So shooting and aiming, for example. So right now, I have a full dead zone. This is what is set at default. However, if I do not want any dead zone at all, I can decrease. So that means that there is, I, I don't have to press this all the way down for an action to be taken. And I can do that for the right stick as well. And I can mirror those triggers so that they move up and down accordingly. Let's next transition to vibration. You can set how much vibration there is on the left and the right for the grips. So you can decrease this all the way down to zero or have it at 100% depending on the game you play. Now, if you are in a situation where you want each game to have different settings, don't feel compelled to go through the gamepad mode here in this location to have it set and then have to go in and individually tweak it each time you want to open a game. Armory Crate allows you to do that within each game you can go to Game Library. You can select, let's say, Diablo 4, which I have installed. You can go to Game Profile. And you have these options that you can set even for the, the secondary, for the M1 and M2, if you would like to do that. So here you have your left stick and right stick. This is going to look familiar to you from what we just looked at, even the trigger dead zones and the vibration. So you can save this, and then you have that applied as a profile or within the game. If you have set for one game certain settings and you want to use that for another game, you do not actually have to copy those settings in the game profile that you are using. For example, you can select a template here, and you can actually force for the template to use gamepad mode, which you set in global settings if you would like. But let's say for Arc Runner, I want the settings applied for a game that I am setting. I can then select that, and then those settings are going to be copied over for that. And hopefully this gets you started on where you can set controls for gamepad mode in Armory Crate and also per game setting controls that you prefer to use for playing that game. Thanks for watching, and in the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, I should go.